Hey guys, Christopher Green, AMTV, hard hitting and in your face, BitcoinRich.com. It's a beautiful day, a little hazy, probably tough to see here. Just out for a spin. Scottsdale, Arizona, by the way, is the new Beverly Hills. At least that's what we think, and we've been saying this for years. This is a donut, by the way. Uh, this is Alex. We've been working together for like eight years. Eight years, man. And this, you know, when I started 15 years ago, I worked solo. I found this guy's the best video editor, best friend, honestly, in the world. And yeah, I love you, man. Yeah, love you too. Uh, so today, I want to talk about him, oh. actually, because <laughs> he's got his A game on. Yes. Last couple of years, you've been generating massive cash flows. And he's gone fully independent. We'll still work together. Does his own thing. I'll actually include a link in the description. But I want to talk about your experience going out on your own. You know, it's a little scary for a lot of people to basically not have a salary. Yeah. Okay. You're all in it yeah. for yourself. Okay. You're responsible to get up in the morning. Tell the audience about some of the skills and don't hold anything back too. like even throw out criticism or stuff, maybe as me as a mentor. But I've always viewed that the best mentors in the world yeah. make their boys and their gals out there stronger than them. Yeah, and yeah. that's how you know you have a good coach and you've got the thousand X Bitcoin rich dot com mindset. Well, me and Christopher were chilling in a Lamborghini on the hills of Scottsdale, Arizona. I mean, this is really good. We have a very started from the bottom, now we hear experience, but going off onto my own, everything you said, it is scary. It's like, what? what so tell them what you do. You have a YouTube channel, you yeah. uh, have your own media that you put out now called Donut. Yeah. How did that work? How were you able to start making money? Yeah. Doing, doing what you love, sure. by the way, ladies and gentlemen, it's important to do what you love because you can monetize passion. Okay. You can't monetize the things that you hate. That's why a lot of people fail in corporate America. The biggest risk is not taking a risk. That's what me and Christopher always say. The biggest risk is not taking a risk. And there's two different types of people out there. There's the people who want security. So they get a job and then they are secure with their health insurance and all this. And then there's the people who take risks <laughs> where they want to live their best lives and whatnot. And like you say, Christopher, it's this is more secure going you know having being an entrepreneur having different cash flows come in than working a job as we see right now you can't go into your job you can't get a job yeah so AI all the all the jobs and, all and sorry to interrupt no, all the good. jobs are online right everything's online, online so yeah. what else are you going to do it's all remote work it's all social media it's all e-commerce it's now all blockchain so how many years have you been fully independent now I think one year. Okay, so right? one year. So tell the audience from scratch. Yeah. You know, cash flow. Let's let's get into it. Like okay. so yeah. uh you know, how did you grow it? How did you grow your income to multiple six figures? Okay. Or maybe more. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't talked to you in a while. Maybe so, you're doing better. So when I started, when I took, you know, the risk, it it was because of stuff I learned about crypto, you know, an early adopter. Me and Christopher have been in the crypto game for a minute. So that with my investments were able me to pay off the debts, pay off all this stuff, go on my own and take the risk, but responsible risk. I'm not talking about just go jump out there and do it. You know, you have to be responsible, which means you're able to respond. So I had enough to pay for the rent for what, six months? And that was the risk. It was like, hey, it, this is, I, I got a little opportunity. You see the opportunity and you got to seize the day, like we were saying. Yeah, timing is everything. Also catching trends early. And your media channel generates cash flow. You're able to monetize that in various different ways, make thousands of dollars a month. I mean, you can make tens of thousands of dollars a month sure. simply by monetizing your channel and your core audience, sure. which you've done. And yeah. you learned all those skill sets we did together mm -hmm. in the early days when yeah. we started. Mm -hmm. And we learned how to get people's attention, how that equals cash flow, how to build that cash flow, and then finding those opportunities with whatever it is you do, yeah. once you make that first hundred bucks going, wow, like I can actually double that and then triple that. I found an opportunity or I can 10 X that or a thousand X it. I've yeah. talked about how I remember I made my first hundred bucks mm -hmm. like 15 years ago when I started on social media and I was like, wow, like I can actually do this and make money. This is incredible. And it's the same thing with blockchain today. So continue. Yeah, so like what everything I learned 
was with this guy. This guy's the innovator. He took the risk. He saw social media and e-commerce before everyone did. And he took the risk and learned. So working with him, I learned a lot about that, you know? So like, thank you. If it wasn't for Christopher, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. He's one of, I, I'm walking on the shoulders of giants. But the thing is niche, it's gotta be niche, if that's the right word. Niche, niche, yeah, niche. Yeah, niche or niche. So niche. your niche is very specific. And we always talk about this at school, find a micro niche, dominate and target it, right? You gotta find a micro niche. This is what Amazon did. Amazon found a micro niche of selling books. And you, that's where you start. You start where, where you're at. And I was doing video production first, right? And then, I found a micro niche that I'm very interested in, you know, and that's what I focus on the channel. That's what I and do. And it's something you like to do, like I you're would, interested yeah, in. I, I, I would do it if I, you know, wasn't getting paid or anything, but I knew the steps how to get paid and the little secret things. And I don't know if I should tell them all the little secret things in the video, but it's things like getting a newsletter, getting emails, collecting the yeah, customer the acquisition customer acquisition, customer service, and providing quality content as well, you know, and caring about the, the product and the service as well. You always say, give people, teach a million people something and you'll make a million dollars. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, it is looks like a coyote? coyote or something over there. Um, you kind of see that in front of it, or it's like a dog or something. Or have a but yeah, you, if you teach a man a fit to fish, then That's he can provide for his one. community, himself, his family. We've heard that a million times. So is it possible, and we'll get into some, some more, you know, hardcore stuff here. Like, is it possible to start from zero and then make, you know, six figures in a year? We're in a Lamborghini right now. <laughs> We're in Christopher Green's green Lamborghini. And I saw him start, you know, we both start from the bottom. I mean, there was days when we didn't know what was going to happen, you know? I, re I remember those days and it, it was our, the like the way that we started working I before I met Christopher I mean I was broke I was hungry I didn't eat for a couple days yeah we there, met we yes. met on Craigslist too by the way people say Craigslist okay, that's how I, I tell, found him yeah so I've I, I wasn't gonna go on Craigslist so this is how God so what I like to say is God does things that I can't do for myself so I can't I, I have plans in my head what I want to do and that doesn't work out. God has a better plan than my plan. So I didn't want to go on Craigslist because Craigslist is kind of creepy, right? Like I'm not gonna do Craigslist. My dad said, put it on Craigslist, your resume. And I wasn't going to, and I just did it and then forgot about it. Christopher calls me, again, interview, we go have lunch. Now I haven't had food in like a day or two. I haven't ate, I've been cooking quesadillas every day for months. And he takes me out to a sandwich shop and I couldn't pay for the sandwich, but I didn't want to tell him that because I wanted to be impressive. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, he didn't know this and I couldn't pay for the sandwich. I had $4 in my bank account and I was going to go swipe it like, okay, I'll just overdraft it and play the part. And he paid for the sandwich and I was so grateful for that. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, you could start from the bottom and get to where you want. And then you get to where you want and then you have to start at the bottom all over again. That's why you gotta find something that you're passionate about, something that you love, something that's niche. Mm -hmm. So like, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing right now, I'd still be doing it right now. Yeah, you know? because we just love it. We've created content for years before we really even started making any real money. Let's talk about the loneliness of being an entrepreneur oh. where no one understands your vision oh. and people hate on you. And this can also include family and friends yeah. that may or may not believe in you. Hopefully your parents and your family and your friends do. But people, a lot of the times when they see you break the mold and try something different, spend years in a basement like I did creating content for my first year and basically I had to move, sell my house. I was basically at zero starting from scratch. So tell about that experience and how it's changed now that you're starting to see the success that you always knew and I always knew that you would have. Tell, tell us about that arc and that journey. It's a painful journey. It's uh, it's very painful and uh, it's it sucks. <laughs> and what I learned from Christopher is Christopher has uh, thick skin and I didn't have thick skin. So if I didn't have Christopher, I, I mean, I'd make videos and people would hate on them or whatnot. 
and it is a scary experience if you've never done it i so i suggest everybody go do it so you can see what it's like you know being in the public sphere uh all that and you kind of have to get thick skin and not really care you got to become an individual it teaches you to be an individual and start going with your gut start following your intuition start meditating and praying more and finding what it is that you're supposed to do but you're gonna have family and friends think you're crazy this is goes for everybody and you can't care and I think the best thing is is if I could go back in time is not be resentful at them and treat them with love because they're operating from a place of fear where they don't want to see you fail because they try to do it once and they didn't fail they just didn't succeed because they quit so they don't want to see other people get humiliated or fear or all that so it's all coming from a place of fear false evidence appearing real just if you're vocational about it and you love love what you do you know it yeah well really people matter. settle too i see far too many people literally settle on their dreams and they're like well it's too hard or like you said your family doesn't want you to fail your family should want you to fail dude that's how you freaking learn like that's how you grow as a person if you're not eating you know what occasionally you're not even trying and that's the point people aren't going for it they're settling on their life as if they get a second try and they're playing a game of like super mario brothers or something when you don't get a second try <laughs> yeah so how does it feel to have made it on your own oh, like yeah. because you know if you inherit money from your parents or something and that's cool if you do yeah but like you're not taught how to earn and make cash flow sure okay so like when you're independent and you learn that from the ground on your own and you're starting for zero from zero, maybe you uh, tuning in, that's powerful, man, because you know how to make a dollar. Yeah, so I learned how to make this cash flow being broke. Like I needed to eat. I needed some beans and rice, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and so I'd, I'd figure out any way to hustle. So I'd be like, I'll do a video, 25 bucks, it's a deal. And I'd get like five people to do it. I had enough food and uh party favors for the week or whatever and yeah it's incredible where's it's crypto incredible. going is bitcoin going to go to zero is the crypto market blockchain is it going to go to zero where do you think we are in the marketplace right now people don't understand that it's the second layer of the internet you know it's blockchain technology and bitcoin is a decade old like people are just like trading at forty thousand. trading at forty thousand. It, it just keeps going up limited supply there's a consensus over the entire world it can't physically go it can't go to zero unless like some crazy situation happened and if a crazy situation happened that's the last thing you're going to want to worry yeah, it's about it's decentralized so it doesn't there's no sovereign risk there's to it. lost wallets like on the blockchain so there's always going to be it's always going to be there but it's the stuff that you talk about and the stuff that we learned traveling the world, going to Asia and learning with these people who are building it. I mean, we met all the people that created a Litecoin, Tether, all, all the people. Yeah, Brock Pierce, Charlie Lee. We've met them and <laughs> talked to them and learned about it because I was skeptical. Bitcoin, blockchain, all those people that are skeptical to me, I just look at them and I'm like, you're going to miss out on the biggest opportunity of your life. Yeah, and we talk about this all the time, like trust the plan. This is the big vision. This is what they want. Governments, corporate America, Tim Cook owns it, Elon Musk owns it. They're mainstreaming it with Dogecoin, the dog coin, all this kind of stuff. This is the plan. CBDC, central bank digital currencies. This is the direction. ISO 20220 to whatever it's called. Yeah. That's being launched this year in November or whatever. And it's... You know, crypto, it's not like stocks. I've never done stocks, so I don't know anything about stocks. But if you don't like the volatility, it's something maybe not for you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and I would just say at least diversify. Like, even if you don't invest in anything, not financial advice, you don't have to invest anything. But I think it's a risk not to, because what it's if it goes risk. another thousand, ten thousand X, not just Bitcoin, any of these cryptos, by having a little taste in it, you just need to diversify the very least, learn about it. So, okay, yeah. hit me now. And uh, that's why you got to take a school so you know what to do because it's the basics. I'm not going to talk about the basics because it's at the school. Like yeah, starts with know. the fundamentals, work to the advanced topics. Yeah, like for me, my, I got my account buys crypto for me what I want, and I don't even think about it. I just live my life, and it does it automatically. You know, so tell the audience something that they don't know about me since you know me so well. 
anything. <laughs> what you don't know about Christopher is the only thing that popped into my mind is that when he's on camera, he's super energetic, but when you're hanging out with him in person, he's really calm, really present, and the great leadership that I love about this man is that he knows, and I don't know if you learned it from sports or whatever, but he knows the exact moments when to be there and be present and to give words of encouragement. And that's what you've done for me throughout the years is those little moments where I was just depressed or whatever, or I didn't know what, I had no hope or whatever. He knows those little moments where, he, and he gives solid advice. Like I had vertigo uh last month yeah. and it i i got i went to the hospital and everything vertigo freaking out i i talked he calls me and he had a gut feeling to call me and he's like oh i had vertigo and he told me the story just like what to do and that it's gonna be okay and i started doing what he told me to do and now i feel great now I'm, now i knew yeah and it's yeah. usually about the time you're going to give up or it can be with your health too that's when you're about to break through the glass ceiling and a lot of people give up. Maybe it's even been you before. I learned that you only really get ahead after you've been doing something really well for 10 years. That's and you it. have thousands of hours of practice. When everyone else gives up, but you maintain the perseverance. That's why I'm always excited when I see those moments. And both him and I have had that. I've had that many times as an entrepreneur. Uh, the other thing you have to learn is to be a chameleon and pivot with the changing tide and the new trends. As we've seen technology, social media, and everything completely shift. And now the whole world's going into blockchain and Bitcoin and all these other cryptos which are the new internet, just like you said, that people still can't see, just like they couldn't see the internet before. Hit me with criticism. How could I be a better mentor, in your opinion? What are things you think I could do better? Uh, uh, like, like you read with, on the with, internet, with, people are like, like, yeah, go ahead. Like, go ahead. What, do you mean like with uh, AMTV or with Christopher Green or like with what or with Bitcoin Rich or the Island Project? Like, what do you what? as as a mentor to you, who's someone that's mentored you? Mm -hmm. You know, just trying to be real with the audience. Like, things I've done well, and maybe things you think I could have done better. Like, I'm always striving to be better and to be a better teacher. And I don't know if you had any thoughts in that area. I, he's been you've been doing great. <laughs> just keep it up. Keep okay, it up. I mean, because yeah. you get all these videos online. They're like, Christopher Green's a scam and. Uh, you know, Bitcoin's going to zero and he ain't Bitcoin rich and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, we actually talk behind closed doors. We like that. In fact, if people are talking, we want that. We want the haters out there as fuel to basically prove them wrong. When people are talking about you, again, they're giving more attention to you and they're actually boosting you and lifting you up. We've seen this with other like That's social true. media platforms for years. People are like, yeah, it's a scam all the way to their freaking Learjet. It's a scam all the way to their yacht. Yeah. It's a scam all the way to their real estate development project or whatever it might be. Sure. You know, when people are bold and they're aggressive, it catches people off guard. And a lot of people are threatened by that. Like I was never good in corporate America because honestly, I'm kind of a threatening personality. I'm like, I want to kick ass. I want to go a thousand X. I want to make a million dollars. I want to make a billion dollars. I want to do this. And I want to go from A to Z and not do B, C, D or E or F or any of that. And the reason is, there's more opportunity going that direction because no one else is. No one else is driving the Lambo. No one else is taking the big risk with their job or going independent and seeing a trend and catching that wave first. So people yeah. are missing opportunities and they're competing with everyone else doing the same darn I thing. Mean, I remember before I moved back to Arizona and started working with Christopher, I was in Holly, like Hollywood, LA, uh, Southern California and trying to do video production out there. I wanted to do the movies, video, what I do now, right? And everyone hated on me that was in the industry. Like, that's not how the industry works, Alex. That's not how the industry works, Donuts. It was before Donut. And I was just all like, okay, whatever, and I left. And they, I got messages on my phone. This is what, this is your self-taught, you're a self-taught person. That was the big thing is you're self-taught. So you're going to fail. And now, like, it's like, yeah, I'm self-taught, but now I'm independent and got the independent, like, video yeah, business. And mindset. And we've hacked our way, yeah, and you've hacked your way to the top unconventionally. Unconventionally. Right? Which people see, like, we take advantage of any opportunity we can find. Yeah. And that's what you should do as a business owner and entrepreneur, and then exploit that. Just like Jeff Bezos does that. And he started with books and cornered that micro niche market. And then now he owns everything in the world and launches, you know, space yachts. And he just bought a place in Maui for like $65 million down the street, which I call Maui Boo. 
uh, which really is becoming that, like quite literally. So in closing, never give up on yourself. When you're hitting those moments where you feel like giving up, that's when you shouldn't give up. You're actually making progress. You need to believe in yourself. Yeah. Always bet on yourself. And here's living proof, and I'm super proud of you. Not that I have to be, but I'm super proud of this guy because he's an amazing example to his friends and family. He's living proof. You can go a thousand X. He's making amazing money. And honestly, again, I believe this because I've had a lot of good mentors that taught me a lot of great stuff in my life, and I still seek out mentors. It's the, the good coaches teach you to be better than them. And so I'll include some information on donuts. You can watch some of his content yeah. and anything else you want to close with. Much love. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you. God bless. Jesus Christ is king. Links below. And uh, we'll talk to all of you soon. Hopefully you found this motivational. Have a great day.